Hello my friends, Thomas again with Alpha Concepts here. Today we're going to talk about the e-foid, also called the electronic foid. This is not exactly new news, but based on some conversations I've been having on social media the last few weeks, quite a few people aren't aware of it. So we're going to talk about the e-foid and we're going to talk about a few other changes that you might not have heard of if you haven't heard about the e-foid and that's what's coming up next. This video is sponsored by Alpha Concepts Firearm Training. Alpha Concepts offers firearm training for beginners or the advanced shooter. Sign up for a concealed carry training class today and learn from the best in Chicago. Check the training calendar at alphaconcepts.com or call 847-612-3952. So back in uh, 2021, I believe it was August of 2021, the FOID Modernization Act passed, and that made a number of changes to the uh, FOID Act, uh, as well as to concealed carry. One of those changes was to allow the Illinois State Police to put together uh, what's called the electronic FOID. The electronic FOID, or the e-FOID for short, uh, was released back in, I want to say roughly July of 2022. What this basically is, it's an electronic copy of your FOID card. So if you go to the Illinois State Police website, ispfsb.com, enter your username, your password, date of birth, uh, etc. You log in, you'll see an icon that looks like a credit card. You click on that and it pops up with a copy of your electronic FOID card. And by law, this is considered to be the same thing as actually having the FOID card in your possession. Now, a couple weeks ago, someone uh, posted in one of the Facebook groups um, about that they got arrested for not having the concealed carry license in their possession. They said they forgot it at home. Um, obviously, as we look and we see the law, we can see that uh, it has changed. And this reinforces the concept that I talk about all the time. Cops don't know the law. The reality is, how could they? When we look at the uh, FOID Act being 155 pages, the Concealed Carry Licensing Act 168 pages, the Assault Weapon Ban 111 pages, God knows how many hundreds of pages, the Criminal Code, the Vehicle Code, it would be impossible for one person to really understand and know all of the laws. Um, but what he did was not against the law, so it's very likely that charges will be dropped, but it also goes back to the old saying that you can beat the rap, you can't beat the ride. As I tell everybody, if you're going to go armed, you got to go armed with knowledge, and that's why we uh, have this channel, is to provide you guys with all of that knowledge. So again, the e is a thing. You go to Illinois State Police website, click your user, uh, enter your username, your password, date of birth, uh, all that good stuff, log in, click on the uh, icon that looks like a credit card and it'll pop up with your FOID card. The only difference is it has a date stamp on it. Now, in the law, it talks about that the Illinois State Police will enact security features. And basically this date and time stamp that is uh, put on the watermark of the electronic FOID allows the cop to know at this moment in time that this FOID card, this concealed carry license is valid and is active. A lot of debate about downloading that to your, uh, to your phone, to your hard drive on your phone, to your uh, phone to make, you know, uh, Apple wallet. Uh, and sure, you could do that. But in my opinion, that does not comply with the law. You're basically throwing yourself at the mercy of the cop saying, hey, look, I do have a card, but you know, you had a valid card the time you downloaded it. Is it still valid now? It could have been revoked. It could have been expired. Okay, so if you have any questions about the eFOID, I'm leaving a link to our website. I wrote this article up. Uh, back in July of uh, 2022, explaining in more detail. Check the description for that link. All right, so let's talk about expiration dates because here we are a year and a half later and um, expiration dates, January 1st, 2022. Uh, they, the two cards, the FOID and the concealed carry license were merged into one card. So if you have like me, the old blue concealed carry license, uh, that's not the new concealed carry license. The new concealed carry license is a FOID card, firearm owner identification card. And in the upper right hand corner, it'll say indicator CCL or it'll say CCL yes, which means it's a concealed carry license. If it says CCL no, it's a FOID card only. Um, a lot of people were questioning they're receiving these cards randomly in the mail. They don't know what it is. The Illinois State Police are giving a brief, vague uh, information about why you're receiving this card, but some people just quite frankly don't understand legal ease. And basically, as I said, January 1st, 2022, your concealed carry license and your FOID card were merged together. Now, as we know, 
the uh, Illinois Concealed Carry License is a five-year card, uh, and as we know, the FOID card is a 10-year card. However, additional changes that were made. Whenever you renew your concealed carry license, your FOID card will automatically be renewed. Okay, so the uh, expiration date is a moving goalpost. That's part of the reason it's not printed on the FOID card anymore. Uh, you will see that on the FOID card, there is no expiration date, not for the concealed carry, not for the FOID card. Again, the FOID card date, the expiration date is a moving goalpost because when you renew your concealed carry license, they will automatically reset that FOID card to 10 years. In addition, starting January 1st, 2023, if you provided fingerprints when you applied for your concealed carry license or when you applied for your FOID card, obviously fingerprints are optional. Don't let anyone tell you different. I know there's a lot of instructors out there lying to their students saying fingerprints are required for the Illinois concealed carry license and that is not true. If you provided fingerprints for the Illinois concealed carry license or for the FOID card, then whenever you purchase a firearm, you will receive an automatic 10-year reset on your FOID card as well. But again, that automatic reset for purchasing a firearm only applies if you provided fingerprints. In addition, because there is no expiration date on the FOID card, when a uh, gun store wants to sell you ammunition, or a private person for that matter, uh, the process before January 1st, 2022 used to be simply show your FOID card. Uh, if you had a FOID card, they could sell you ammunition. That is not the case anymore because there is no expiration date. You have to go to the Illinois State Police website, ispfsb.com, and you have to enter in uh, the FOID card number uh, as well as the person's date of birth that is uh, printed on the FOID card, and then it'll pop up saying that it's active or not. Herein lies a problem. Obviously, it takes a little more time, but... Sometimes the state website goes down, and if you just wanted to go to the range and plink off a, a box or two of ammunition, and you didn't bring that ammunition with you, congratulations, you are not shooting today, because they legally can't sell it to you if it doesn't have an expiration date. They have to go and verify that that is valid. So uh, always buy your ammunition in bulk, in my opinion, and store it. Store it. You never know when you're going to need it. Uh, we did a video on how to store ammo. Definitely check that out if you're wondering. And, uh, you know, the only time you can have too much ammunition is if you are swimming. So it's always a good idea to have that ammunition buy in bulk. So that's kind of a recap about things that have changed. Now, again, as I said, this wasn't new news. Uh, everything that we talked about has been in effect for either months or years. Um, but a lot of people did not know about it, and I felt it was important to put together this video uh, just to kind of bring it to everybody's attention, okay? So final recap, there is an electronic FOID card. There's no expiration date on your FOID card. Uh, there are automatic renewals for your FOID card. The FOID card and the concealed carry license have been merged together into one document. Uh, Illinois constantly is making changes to the gun laws, and if you found this video helpful and you want to know about future changes to the gun laws, then this is the channel that you need to subscribe to. And if you want to help this channel out, the very best way you can do that is signing up for one of our firearm training classes. We offer advanced training classes, uh, pistol, shotgun. We offer uh, concealed carry training classes, basic training classes. Uh, we offer CPR, first aid. Like I said, if you want to help this channel out, if you found this information helpful in any way, sign up for a class. Go to alphaconcepts.com or uh, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out. So as always, everybody, be armed, be trained, and be alpha. Mm -hmm.